see behind me I'm at the lake, it's Hollingworth Lake this, um, I mentioned this in my previous video where this is probably one of the most, um, well, it's a really attractive place to come uh, the minute it's suffering a drought, so we're going to have a look at the drought but we're also going to have a look at, at this paranormal spot um, that's for me personally, people talk about Pendaloo and how, how that gets on the, the par paranormal community map, well it might do but um, people are just forgetting about this, this lake here. Well, they don't even know, if, if you ask me, never mind, forget. This lake is massively active when it wants to be. There's 64 documented deaths with boat accidents, suicides, um, attacks, all kinds of stuff. But people come here in the day, obviously, because it's great. But you don't see many people coming here at night. But whilst I'm here, there's a place that I want to mention um, that's got the worst Google reviews there is. Uh, we'll go over the Google reviews in a minute now. I don't like using my platform as a like to a dirty laundry but um, this has got to be done I'm afraid because I was here the other day and um, you can only pay on your card and they charge me for a chip a chip butty they call it but um, they call it here you know they call it chip butty and it's just basically it's, it's a chip muffin and um, I didn't get it what I got were a ghost a ghost butty I called it's basically they charged me 285 for, for, a, for a chip muffin that I didn't get so anyway I'll show you in a minute and we'll see if we can see what the spirits think of this because I <laughs> I think it's pretty shocking to be honest and if you see some of the reviews that I put on I'll show you in a minute yeah. So these reviews are real, it says disgusting chips were full of grease, tasted like they've been cooked twice There's other reviews, look you can, you can see here the amount of reviews people are leaving, it's all negative, overcharged You know, um, the quality of the food, uh, you know, don't bother going here, ice cream is rubbish uh, wasted an enjoyable day out, uh, whatever, you know, there's just Google reviews all over about this place, so um, I'm not rating this place either, it got a one from me, because it were absolutely shocking, no organisation at all, anyway, let's crack on with the video, but it's at Lakeside Bank here, uh, yeah, give it a miss. So where we are, so the, um, I think it's called Lakeside Cafe, and um, they say they, they, they're well overpriced here, yeah. you know, they, um, they charge you quite a lot of money to 85, it's quite a day for a, for a boy. And obviously the, the you know the, the organisations first class failure because I went and there was absolutely no one there. There was absolutely no one. You know what I mean? There was no customers around and there it is. There was no customers yeah and um it took about twenty minutes for a chip boy that I didn't get. And I paid for it on my card. There was no cash either. But um you can see there's no one coming at the minute. Her. her. Yeah, yeah, it was her actually. She she um she saw me the little ghost water, yeah. It was a female actually, she's probably in there now. Yeah, it was in her, if you go in there, and um, obviously, you know, go and curse her if you want. Right, I'm going to take those people at the minute. So we're going to do the lakes getting a bit busy now so what I'm going to do is I want to try to do this two video challenge where it's um, two videos in 24 hours um, so this is the first one and we're going to have a look at the, the drought and how much the lake's been affected uh, with the drought and then I'll, like I said to you I'll take you to this spot where there's lots of activity so um, yeah and we'll, uh, we'll show you around now there's some people I think maybe getting a, a ghost body let's have a look glass glass yeah, smash it if you want. Smash the glass. Can you smash the glass? I'll just show you around at the minute. The water's there, and I'll um, I'll come off the tube in a minute. Come off the tube in a minute though, because there's people, there's too many people. So I'm just going to put on my camera. That's the stuff the uh, magnet ping off the iron. So yeah, the um, the water comes up further usually, and you can see how much it's dropped. So that's the old jetty, that's like the jetty where the water usually comes right up to. I remember you could use to dive off that. I'll just show you that there. So you could dive off the jetty once upon a time and 
you can see how much the water's receded. <coughs> So if you don't know much about the lake, like I said, it's uh, there's been lots of deaths on the lake. Um, no, I don't mean obviously recent times. I mean like Victorian times. Um, we'll go over to the to the to the cafe over there, and I'll show you some pictures or whatever. I've done this before in in, uh, in other videos, but this is this this place is really haunted at night time. So um, you never know. Um, it might be worth it might be worth a rounded eye to do. Do you see here where all, all the, the colour texture is different and the water definitely has been here recently? Let's go and check the geese out over here. So you never know what could, what could wash up because the lake's so old. It's a bit of glass there or whatever. feathers from the geese. I don't know what that is. That looks it's got different colotation to it so it, it sometimes you can it can tell you a story that but I'm not no stone person so I don't know, I just know the, the stone coloration is different like that one there, it's different colour it ties it tells you something about the edge or something. And then you've got a little brick here as well. I don't see them uh, much at, that must have been red at one point. Yeah, and the nice bricks, you don't often see them. So, this is just obviously the, uh, well, I had to use the word as you can see, but, um, where the water's up to. So what's important is time passes and the water comes back. It's nice to get some footage of, you know, when, when the lake was once, um, when it once lost a lot of water. Boating activities and stuff like that. Now it's a lovely day, so we'll get further around and I'll show you a bit more. I'll show you like the um, the nature reserve bit because that's interesting. That because we might be able to have a look at some of that because I've done investigations before where. Uh, the, this obviously soldiers was there once and there's on Mike Graves and stuff so let's go and have a look uh, let's go and have a look around there obviously this is Lakeside front and just talk about Pendle Hill like I said it's just following with lakes talking about paranormal stuff it's more it's more active than, than uh, Pendle Hill because if there's 10 witches yeah it's just 10 10 deaths yeah the, the 10 people have been executed um, unfairly uh, you've got 64 deaths of different natures, so from drownings, like I said, to boat accidents, to heart attacks, etc., etc. Anyway, let's uh, let's crack on and get further around. There's um, there's like many spirits that, that lurk the lake. Different times, uh, different spirits I've learned. I've been to this lake I don't know how many times. So I've got so many videos here. Uh, some are better than others, but I've learned to come out on a full moon um, and there's spots now where I used to walk around and used to just take ages where now I can just narrow it down to one place and obviously when you put the work in you realise you know where where, where to go uh, so let's get into it yeah there's some people out here so I don't want to start thinking uh, I'll cut it here and then I'll, I'll start recording one second yeah so let's just have a, look, a quick look at the lake what all the water levels are up to I'll have to just record. Um, so we just remembered. Obviously, it's not far off. It's not far off the uh, the tower. That and if you can see there, it's pretty light, so I can't really see. The, hopefully, I can just zoom in and all for the best. But it looks like it's up to uh, whatever it is there, uh, one on the on that on that number scale. I can see it, me. So it looks like it's up to number one or whatever. It's pretty low. That I think that's like that's like you know. Soon it'll, it'll be further down soon, and you can see look round here. But anyway, I was telling you the spirit, the um, the spirit story. Where now? So one second. So there's a spirit called Lady Alice here. She's like a guardian. She like roams roams the uh, the lake, uh, and 
obviously there was a boat called Lady Alice and there's a reason why there was a there was, there was boat named Lady Alice is because it was in memory of someone. I don't know who she was, I'm still trying to, I know who she is but I don't know, like I speak to her when I come here but uh, apart from that, there's other ones like Dr Watkins um, who's really, I guess we've had uh, numerous encounters here and obviously Dr Watkins has built the bungalow for him. So. Um, Like I said, um, my doctor, Dr. Watkins, I built the bungalow for him. Uh, there was contractual problems, and then they never got to move into the bungalow. That's caused them rest before, and um, you know, Dr. Watkins is it still lurks sometimes. Um, it still lurks around the bungalow sometimes. There's all the graves of the unmarked soldiers, the unmarked graves of the soldiers that that, uh, that were based here. Uh, Rakewood uh, on the fields where I think it's like the caravan site now um, and then further on round you've got like uh, all the Victorian stuff with uh, from back in the day they've all got all, the acti all that activity and the lake was called something else then so anyway I'll, um, I'll cut it here and move further around wine press but it weren't always a wine press it's been it was called the fish once and I think it was an arse change over at one point because you can tell with the doorway there um, that's probably where the horses probably would have gone in there um, and then obviously this was this was for because there was mines around here. You see, where all, all there was mining going on over there, um, and there was different parts of Victorian style um, Victorian style era around the lake. People would people would um, probably people would probably live there and that. As you can tell, the, the land's so got such a tail behind it. I mean, I think there's a way you can get up to Blackstone Edge here. Um, so yeah, see, so you, you just see that tire there actually. What is that? Is that it there? Anyway, um, keep moving round, and it's over there. I really want to capture most of the stuff what's going on over there. So anyway, um, well, uh, there's some fishermen there. Look, look out, look out. Uh, Look how much they've had to come into the water. Right, anyway, let's go here to people. So this is where the, um, the RSPCA are supposed to be bringing some of the animals to the visitor centre. Um, they said um, in September, it said here, which is next month. Which is pretty cool, actually, if you ask me. But I don't think it is there. Uh, they're just obviously doing construction work now to fit the animals in. So, I don't think we I'm going to go and visit something, but I don't think you can. So anyway, we'll carry on. We'll carry on round. But I just wanted to put this in because I thought it was the other, the other visitor centre. And I was always getting confused. But, um... Yeah, anyway, we'll carry on walking round. It used to be a feeder centre for the canal. Um, they had black pumping towers. There's one that they've taken away that they don't need now. So, um, I'll show you this pumping tower in a minute so I want to show you some more footage of after obviously the receding water which uh, well, looks pretty cool for me actually. That's a pumping station that's no longer here they don't need it now because I think the canal gets fed differently and that's all the old um, all that green marshland there that's where my equipment keeps picking up uh, well, it's an edge reserve, but it, it, that's what I'm in it. <laughs> Might be worth going back back on that tonight, actually. Very similar to what we did at the drought of uh, Water Grove. I don't think I'll get much, but you never know. That's the overflow. So obviously these are just some pictures uh the receding water lines that are captured as we walk around um so it's just important that um i keep these obviously on the channel so when the water comes back it'll be good to look back on the water's usually well up well up to where usually
just all that Greenland is usually full of water. I think that's an old tie there. I'm glad to think Ty's getting the, uh, in the lake. Let's uh, carry on walking around. I think it's going to be cool over there anyway. So we'll have a little walk around. Let's just, let's just a bit more here. Yeah. Obviously that's the water's usually up from that. Usually. Look at that. Wow. see some dog walkers in this and someone's walking a puppy behind me and I feel sorry for the puppy actually because the puppy can't take the seat. I know it's early but even so the, the puppy behind there, behind me now, it's, I feel well sorry for it. He just wants to stop for a drink and I don't think they've got it on. I don't, I don't like it when that happens to be honest. Anyway, I've got it here, there's just kids parking that. So obviously the, the river usually runs through here, and there's um, you can usually get fish. So the water usually runs down there. Looks like the birds are looking for some fish that are stuck. That's where the water's up to at the minute. Mm. So we'll move further around. Sort of a hot bit noise, isn't it? No, there isn't, so. See some little ducks there. Look how much it's, uh, how much it's dropped. Massively. I don't know if that's something to do with the old hamlet here, look. Them stones. Or whether they, whether they actually made this for the nature reserve, I'm not quite sure actually. <laughs> but it's uh, worth a... It's going to be worth a little night do, I think. Yeah, it's kind of walking around. There's a funny smell around here. I guess there would be with a lot of moss. the cracks in the floor. This is quite common this when it comes to droughts. You get them big dirty cracks. It's quite soggy still. And all this area is usually just full of water. So I'm, I'm just going to try the box for a minute just to see. I don't think I'll get anything because when you get water here, you don't get anything usually on the box. But I want to see if, if uh, well, that's my research so far from obviously the last route we went to the, the uh, water grove. So we'll see now. So we're after uh, any boat sounds, anything like that. Um, I don't think we'll get any because, like I just mentioned, you don't usually get stuff when uh, off the box with droughts. Because there's no noise because of because of the water, but it looks like my box is uh, playing up there because I can see it moving around and that. Anyone talking this frequency? If you don't know what an angler is, it's a fisherman. Wait a minute, it's frequency. I'm going to talk back. Hey, sir. So there's a route 
old rumour that used to be a hamlet here. Not here specifically, but um, there used to be a old hamlet under the lake. Well, if it keeps receding like this, we're going to find out if it's true or not. Kind of moving around. There's one spot I won't really want to get to. So we're all down here. As you can see with the storms, how much the uh, obviously the dark patch. You, you should you should know like the dark patch is where the water's probably been there recently. Uh, so the water's probably up to where usually, whatever, and all them storms usually submerged. So we're not coming, we're not far off the bit now. We're, um, I'll sit for a few minutes and use a box. So Hollingworth Lake's got such a history. Um, it, it sometimes holds like some kind of, uh, I don't know, there was like a nice, a nice uh, hockey game, I think, on top of the, or cricket game, I think, on top of the lake. Oh, yeah. Uh, one time, time. As we walk further around, uh, you see the, the bungalow over there, that's Dr Watkins's bungalow that never got finished. Um, you can just type that in on MEN and it'll come up. Um, about Dr. Watkins and Elizabeth Watkins, which is obviously there were two married doctors that um, were supposed to move in the bungalow and it didn't. As I mentioned earlier on, with the uh, with the building problems and the the, uh, the bungalow not getting finished. I mentioned about the tyres before. Strange how they get in there, isn't it? Right, we're not far off the bench now, and this is where I'll sit. Uh, this is proper packed at the minute, so... Um, I should have come a bit earlier, really, but... Um, we'll get this in and out do anyway. But <clears throat> a lot of people think this place has... Uh, well, I don't even think the gods start thinking that there's, that there's ghosts here or anything like that, but this place is absolutely epic at uh, night time. You see all the people, but at night time it's a different, it's a different story. Different kettle of fish. People come towards me, so I'll just call it. So, Alan Flakes, over 200 years old. So, let's go back in time where we was uh, not long ago at this point and let's see what happened. Let's do the uh, Hollingworth Lake Museum. Welcome to Hollingworth Lake Museum. Why? Why? Because that's what you have to do. I said no. You said no? I was talking. So I've never seen it this far, to be honest. Lady Alice. <coughs> what? Lady Alice already? Wow. So that was last time. So anyway, let's go back to, to the present video today. today. So I'm going to have to talk through most of this because there's people's voices in the background. So what I'm trying to do here, I'm just trying to get the K2 reader out. The K2 reader obviously is measured with milligauss, which measures energy. Um, if there's anything electrical there, it'll start going off, but there's no electrics there apart from obviously my phone. And you can see it there, it's flashing. And it flashes quite a lot in this area. Uh, this is a real hotspot area. Um, there's children that have passed before that have started crying for an unknown reason. So this is why I'm back here again today. Is to try and understand a little bit more about that, um, and obviously to try and understand this specific spot. As you can see, it's spiking there. There's no reason why that should spike. Now, if it goes to red, that's the equivalent to a pylon. So it will go red that uh, reader under a pylon. So that basically, if it's going red and there's no pylon, then that's the equivalent to a pullet geist. If it's got intelligent energy as well, it's got the ability to uh, well do what it wants really, manifest and and, and other things like that. So what, what I'm doing here, I'm more or less like, like a deterrent to say, look, I know you're here, you know, so don't be doing bad things. Uh, but the night time's obviously different, I can capture a lot more uh, evidence, which I've done before. So um, anyway, let's just try, I'll just show you a bit more. This bit of video is really good here, I've listened to it, there's no demonic sounds or anything like that, and there's no children crying as they pass, so it's, it's, it's a good way of obviously showing, you know, that... Um, that it's uh, it goes to show I'm not trying to spread fear or anything. It's it's one of these uh, just to try and raise awareness kind of thing. But it's a good piece of video for me because it's positive really. 
Obviously, you've got to take in mind it is daytime. Um, nighttime is a complete different story. Uh, but yeah, it's a positive piece of uh, piece of evidence, if you ask me. It's better than last time. Neil. Am I dead? So that will go on, that will go on 10 seconds on. That was just firing up bright to red before. I must have been in that. Just, just got a few seconds before some more people come, but that was the point I'm trying to make here at night time. Are you from here? Yeah, from Wardle. That's a bush. Obviously you can't see much in a day, but at night time it's a lot better with the K2 reader. Yeah. I always usually get stuff around here. Around by the... Um, by the straw line and then up there I'll take you to an old farm which is on that left hand side there and up there is pretty uh, pretty good as well yeah. I don't remember the lake being this low uh, and I've lived around here for a very long time but um, it would be just it would be just good to capture if it does recede to see if there is really a hamlet there as you can see here that <laughs> Well, obviously, all the greens will be usually again where the water, where the water usually comes up to. It's mad seeing a lake this low. I don't think I don't remember see, ever seeing it this low, to be honest. Wonder what's at the bottom. Eh? I think that's what everyone wonders. If there really was a town here. Obviously, it's more easier to prove at the res because the evidence is uh, well, here. It's a little bit harder, but they have the they have the same like the, the trough where the water goes through and down. But that might be from kinetic energy anyway. That. So to end off, I'll just show you the, the bungalow that um, they fenced off, obviously around the front and stuff. I don't know what's going to happen. I think they're going to demolish it, to be honest. And it's this one here. You walk past it every day when you go around the lake. You probably won't even know why it's why it's fenced up and that. So we built two doctors that, that never got to live in it. Lovely bungalow. I don't know why someone do, well, I don't know why someone just don't buy it and finish it off or whatever. And I think the upstairs was like a library or something or whatever where they'd study. And it, it just goes to show that someone made it and it's you know someone's not got to move in it. And it's like uh, if it gets knocked down it'd be a waste. Surely that's, you know, it's worth money that, right on the lake side front. And, you know, if you had enough money, you'd just, you'd just buy it, whatever, and then, you know, get the, get whatever needed to do into it. Because that's worth a lot of money, if you ask me. A lot of money. You know. What a view as well. You know, that's your view. Every morning when you wake up. Can't beat it. Look how many people come round here, like, and then that's your view every morning. I don't know, I don't know, obviously enough money would buy you that, uh, buy you that uh, bungalow and maybe you'd want that your parents to live there or whatever so when your parents 
get older. This is our view. it from me in the lake so um, I'm probably back tonight I would have thought do a night video hopefully get on that grassy area where where the unmarked graves usually get from the soldiers so but I need a full moon really I haven't got it so maybe I'll have to bring the book I don't know but um, nice watch anyway we'll just a little quick walk around just to show you the lake when it's low get some get some footage of it so in time maybe in two years when it's full it'd be good to look back on Anyway, it's peace for me. See you soon.